okay this problem here um, given the function uh, y is equal to 4x squared plus 6x and we ask us to find dy dt when x is equal to negative 4 and uh, dx dt is equal to 3 you end up using uh, implicit differentiation to get this done okay so what happens here let me show this part in, at the beginning here here uh, y maps to x and then x maps to t so what is the change in y comes from the change in x with respect to t so x is a function with respect to t and inside that function there it's inside y so the change in y in the y function comes in comes from the change in the x function with respect to t and t is our independent variable here so we end up taking the function dy dt we know that x is a function of t but we don't know what the function is just some function in x that takes t for the input of it so we take the, the derivative here and here we have a sum so we break it up d dt of 4x squared plus d dt of 6x so x here is a function so when I take the derivative of it of this uh, 4x squared I'm going to have 8x x prime and when I take the derivative of 6x with respect to t I'm going to have 6x prime okay so this x here, this is an implied function, a written implied function uh, of t and the chain rule, function inside a function. So when we get to this point here, after you've taken the derivative of it, uh, we want to find dy dt, and we can look at what we're given here. Okay. And in this case here, we have a common factor between, we can factor out a 2. So we can factor out a 2 here. So we know, we know what x prime is. x prime is the same thing as dx dt. So we know that dx dt is the same thing as x prime. And that's the same thing as 3. So we can plug that in and replace it and simplify here. And we're given x is equal to a negative 4. And we can plug that in here. And we can find out what dy dt is and simplify it on down. We end up with y dy dt being a negative 78. And that's our final answer here.